Divine Truth Assistance Group Group Assistance Sessions Putting Principles of Divine Truth into Action This recording is from the Developing My Loving Self Group and is part of an Education in Love series. In the Session 1 Personal Feedback Presentation, rather than giving personal feedback to individuals, Jesus gives feedback to the group about their questions being an addictive attempt to make Jesus responsible for their personal progression, rather than being about the process of progression towards God. Recorded on the 5th of June 2016 in New Seville, Queensland, Australia. Okay. Well, now uh, is our opportunity to get some personal feedback and some group feedback. So there's quite a few things I'd like to talk about in the group feedback as well as personal feedback. So let's get started with the personal feedback first. And I'm giving no personal feedback. <laughs> Except one thing to all of those persons who wrote in wanting personal feedback. So I suppose it's a group feedback for the personal feedback people who wanted personal <laughs> feedback. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a genuine problem that many of you have when it comes to asking me questions. And that is that you're not asking me questions about process. You're asking me questions that actually place me in a place of responsibility for your lives. And you're not asking about the process. So most of the questions I see, there's this underlying emotional thing driving them. And that is that you want somebody else to tell you rather than you do the work yourself. In other words, you want, to be a, you want to be relieved from having to go through the process I've had to go through. Now, there's a number of problems with that. The first one is you, you're never going to be, in the end, like in a state where you're proud of what you've done and what you've achieved, because it's always been with somebody else's assistance or help instead of having to gone through the whole thing with you, God, developing in that relationship. The second problem with it is that you place, you place the um, responsibility on an external person for your progression. Now, if that person cannot help you or does not have the time to help you or, or pushes you in the wrong direction, then basically you've wasted a lot of time and effort in asking them questions. Can you see that? And so it's quite a damaging thing that you do placing me in a position of responsibility in your life. I, I don't have responsibility for your life or your decisions. So if I can give, you know, there are some examples here, I won't read out names here, but you'll know who, who you are when I read it out. But there's a lot of things like I feel excited about growing on a path, but I'm in a bit of resistance. Is it a matter of building my desire to feel my resistance to terror, or is it something else? Well, to that person, and I'm not saying names here, you know who you are, and I'm saying to you, you're asking me to decide what it is. Does that make sense? You're asking me to decide. Now, in asking me to decide, you're putting the responsibility for the decision on me. I, I feel you need to work out whether it is building your desire or whether it is something else. Does that make sense? Yeah. So here's another one. I'd like to know more about how to choose and maintain my particular flavour of facades and how they're causing harm to others. I'm largely unaware of its impact and not sensitive to the sin and damage. And I say, well, if you're not sensitive to the sin and damage, then how is anything I'm going to say to you going to help you? You first need to become aware of the sin and damage, and that's a personal process you're going to have to engage. And if you do the things we've suggested, you'll engage that process, right? But if you're, not, if you, if you're asking me, how can I help your awareness when you're already admitting here that you're largely unaware, and that tells me that there's largely a desire to be unaware? Right? Uh, and these are just examples. I'm just picking them out as I go, right? Um, does my physical pain and injury occur due to my denial and avoidance of emotional pain and terror of that pain? 
What do you think? <laughs> so there's the answer to that, yes. Is the pain and injury God's feedback for my choice to sin? What do you think? Yes. How do I discern which primary source caused the injury? Well, we've already given you the tools to discern that. And obviously, you don't want to use them. Does that make sense? So, so, and I keep looking through these questions, and, and they're all of a similar vein, most of them of, of that vein. Some are completely, completely unrelated to the subject at hand at all, so I won't even mention those. But others are just mostly in this vein of tell me, tell me, tell me what I need to discover for myself. So I'm going to stop telling you what you need to discover for yourself. I feel that what I want to do is give you the tools to learn how to discover it for yourself and then you, through the exercise of your will, choose to engage those tools. Or not, it's up to you. But I'm not responsible for how you engage those tools, nor am I responsible to tell you what I know about you. You imagine if I did take responsibility for that. Like I might know a thousand people, a few thousand people, I'd be writing emails every minute of the day going, this is what I know about you, this is what I know about you. Would I get anything done? I wouldn't get anything done. I wouldn't achieve anything that I came here to do. You see? Can you see that? So it's far better for me to go, no, you're responsible for your progression. What I'm trying to do here, what Mary and I have been trying to do for a long time, is to give you tools so that you know how to engage this process. And... And you need to work out where you're at. You need to work out how you can measure where you're at. You need to do it for yourself. You need to learn to do it for yourself, take responsibility for yourself. Does that make sense? And doing that is going to benefit you immensely because it means that when no one else is around, you can still do it. And you don't need Jesus or Joe Blow or Joe Bloggs or John Smith or anybody else to help you do it because you now have the tools at your disposal that you've learnt how to use. And so I would like to focus my attention on how to use the tools. But many of your questions don't do that for me. They don't focus attention on how to use the tools. They just uh, give me my personal feedback that I need for my personal situation. And what I'm trying to say is, look, here's the tools that you can use in every situation. These are the tools I've used in every situation to determine what's going on for me and these are the tools you need to understand and utilise for what's going on for you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is there any questions about that? It's pretty clear? You don't have any questions about it? Okay, so that's the end of our personal feedback. <laughs> <coughs> I just caught up half an hour or 20 minutes. <laughs> And I'll probably blow it here. <laughs>